Let's take a quick look at document versioning and document comparison with SharePoint Online and Microsoft Word 2016. What I have here is a, is a document library in SharePoint Online containing a document um, which I've been working on. The document current version um, has been added to the view, so I can see that I'm in version 5. Um, and if I want to show why we're here, this little feature, so you can actually drag and make these columns narrower and wider to see the full file names, which is a new feature recently added. Let's just quickly jump into the document and see uh, what its current state is. So if I look at this document, you'll see it's got, um, amongst other things in here, a bullet pointed list uh, down here, a heading, um, I've been using the current versioning, and some coloured text in the document. At the top of uh, Word Online, I'm going to click back to the document, um, shared document library. Now if I right click on this document, I get the option to, in the context menu, to see the version history. So I'll do that, so right clicking, wait for the screen to catch up, right click on here, uh, and then choose, let's try that again, uh, version history, and from the version history uh, I'll see all of the previous versions of the document. In this case I've only got major versions enabled in the library, but if I had minor versions uh, they could also appear in this list. So what I want to do is uh, compare version 5 of the document, which is the current one we just looked at, with version 3. By clicking on the date and time of version 3 here, uh, Microsoft Word will open the, the version 3 of the document, uh, up into Word for me. You'll see in the background there it's got version 5 which I previously hadn't closed but it doesn't need to be open. Once this open, Word gives me an option knowing that I'm on a previous version to compare versions. So I click the compare option here. And the first thing that you'll notice is that on the screen it's got some markups. So show me where the changes have occurred in the document on this side in the main panel. And on the right hand side I've got the original document which is actually version 5 so the latest or the current version of the document. And then down here, um, I've also got version uh, 3, which is the one which we're currently looking at. And you can see at a glance the differences between them. One of the great things here is it's very quick and easy to spot the differences, but I can also accept and decline uh, changes. So if I click into here, I can accept and reject as well. So um, the same as you can with document markup. So now I've just accepted that version there, and I'm going to click on this one here and accept that change as well. Um, so now I've made some changes, what I'm doing here is rolling back changes um, and I could actually go into here if I wanted to and, and, and actually type in a heading versioning, um, change the text to do what, I, do what I like at this point. So once I've made my changes I can save that document, I can uh, simply close out of here and it will say do you want to change, change, save the results to compare results for. So it's not overwriting my existing document, um, it's just creating a new version of the document which will have um, the changes applied to it. In this case I'm going to say no, so I'll just cancel this one, sorry. I'll say do not save. SharePoint, um, one of the other things I wanted to point out here is that if I did want to roll version 3 forward, so instead of making the changes and creating a new, a new document, I could instead roll the versions forward. In Word, I can either click the Restore Version option at the top, if version 3 of the document was the one I really wanted, or push the down arrow from here and choose Restore to restore that version. Doing that creates version 6 of the document so that version 5 is not lost. So I'm sure that you'll find this uh, feature very useful if you're working with large documents. I know that people that I talk to working in legal teams, policy, QA, um, and even management type roles find this document, uh, this feature very useful, um, and it's uh, certainly something that I'm, um, I'm using a lot myself.